Hello there. I'm the lore master of the Lord Keeper's Library, and today we will begin a series on the weapons and war gear for Warhammer 40k in preparation for the video game Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. The Emperor protects. The last gun. The most commonly used anti-personnel directed energy weapon in the galaxy. It is a standard issue for the Astra Militarum, also known as the Imperial Guard. It's reliable, low maintenance, and simple to use, with a longer range than the variant LAS pistol, but considerably less powerful than a LAS cannon, and tends to lack the rapid fire capabilities of a multi LAS or a health gun. The LAS gun also has less power than the well known Bolter. But with its low maintenance, low production cost, ease of use, with no need for physical ammunition resupply, makes it the best choice for the massive military complex, which is the Imperial Guard. The last gun focuses a beam of light powered by a portable, easily rechargeable capacitor known as a power pack, generally loaded in front of the weapon's trigger guard. The last gun creates a small, vaporizing explosion at the impact site, able to eliminate a human with relative ease, but struggles against more resilient Xeno's enemies in more durable armor, such as power armor. Though targeting a vulnerable spot may allow a last gun blast to pierce more powerful types of armor, such as power armor. The power pack itself can be weaponized by overcharging it, creating a makeshift explosive weapon as a last ditch effort. Las guns generally have setting controls allowing the conservation of power, further allowing more shots, but with the cost of providing a less powerful shot per activation. It can also be loaded with what's known as a hot shot power pack, allowing for more powerful but fewer shots per reload. The Long Las Preferred by the Imperial Guard's sharpshooters, the specially modified variant of the last gun allows for much greater range and accuracy than the regular last gun, but requires a more rapidly occurring barrel change. Long lasses are outfitted with a side locked barrel, which allows for easy barrel changing. The long las generally lacks the power slider of the regular las gun, instead allowing the near exclusive use of the hot shot power pack, lending to its increased lethality, which explains its penchant for the barrel needing changing much more often than a las gun. The Hell Gun more highly advanced version of the last gun, the Hell Gun possesses superior armor penetrating capabilities with a considerable increase of both range and power compared to the normal last gun. It is used mostly by the specialists, known as the Tempestus Scions, the Imperial Guard Stormtroopers, and equivalents. Can use a powerful specialized capacitor known as the hotshot power pack, but hell guns are generally used with what's known as the power backpack, allowing far more shots and can fire in a semi-auto or automatic firing mode. Hell guns possess a much greater level of maintenance than the regular last gun, which keeps their usage to the higher trained Tempestus Scions rather than for regular guard usage. Those trained in their use are also trained in their rigorous maintenance, often requiring the user to possess the knowledge on how to completely rebuild them if and when necessary. Unfortunately, relatively few Forge worlds, worlds controlled by the Adeptus Mechanicus for the sole use of manufacture and veneration of the Machine God, have the capability to manufacture Hell weapons. The Hell Pistol is used in a similar manner as the Hell Gun, sharing much of the same technology used to create them, and is generally more powerful than a normal LAS gun. In conclusion, the most commonplace weapon in the galaxy in Warhammer 40,000, the LAS Gun has been the most reliable, commendable, and widely used weapon for the Imperium of Man the greatest bastion against the Xeno, the Mutant, and the Heretic, enemies of the God Emperor of Mankind's Imperium, 
will always be an Aegis wall of las guns and the men and women who wield them. They shall not falter for the glory of the Imperium or in the darkness of the far future that is only war.